Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, in April 13, 2021. If you like to support the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button is here in New Studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. And uh, we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are approaching the very top of the Bollinger Band. We are significantly overbought at this current stage, uh, 73. Uh, technical indicators otherwise are, well, still bullish, but they are slowly turning around. So we could see this and pull back towards the 20 exponential at the 400, uh, 4,000, give or take. Break below that, opens the door to the 50 at 3,932. And in the worst case scenario, we could drop towards the very bottom of the Bollinger Band at uh, 3,844. Rallying from here, both probably the target uh, in the next few weeks will be 4,250. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, uh, uh, we have a little red candlestick here. It didn't really happen that much today because it's basically earning season and uh, well, basically in a pause at this current current stage. Technical indicators are very bullish. We are significantly overbought and uh, we are still in this very nice upward channel. Uh, pullbacks towards the 50, 40, and the 20 uh, have all offered major support. We are getting uh, fairly overstretched here, and we are overbought. So pullback towards the 20 exponential will mostly be where we'll find uh, buyers at the 33,100. And it's also the previous highs over here. So that should probably be where this will, will be bought. So next target will most likely be uh, 30... Uh, 34,000 and 34,500. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is basically leveling off. We have had this massive rally here all the way down from 12,645 and all the way up towards the very highs here. We are running into the previous highs over here before we saw this massive sell-off. Technical indicators are still very bullish. MACD is well above the signal line in bullish territory. RSI, Stochastic is bullish. Our CCI is bullish. And the RSI is just on the edge of being overbought. We have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 50. And uh, we also have the simple moving average, 20 simple moving average crossing the 50 here. And usually that is a very bullish shine. But at this point, we are getting fairly overstretched, overstretched and overbought, and a pullback is uh, kind of expected. We could fall back towards the 20 exponential, that's at the 13,330, give or take, or the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is at the 13,250. That is also the previous highs over here, and that should offer quite a lot of support. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is still just trading sideways. Uh, this just won't fall, even though we're at 78 here in the RSI. We have been on the, basically at the top of the bullish band for a really long time now. And uh, pullback has been expected, but nothing is really happening here. So target at this point will mostly be 15,500 and then 16,000. But uh, I... It would be strange if we don't see a pullback before we go to those highs as we'll have an RSI that will probably be in the 90s uh, if that is the case. And that will mean that we'll head all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band if we basically snap back from a RSI at 90. So at this current stage, uh, pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band, that will most likely be where we'll see buyers come back in or give or take 15,000. So let's look at the UK 100. We can see that we did eventually fall quite drastically down to 6,853 and then we rallied. So at this current stage, it is very likely that we'll head towards the middle of the Bollinger Band down here or the 20 exponential down here at 6,782 before uh, continuing rallying. So technical indicators are turning around. Uh, Stochastic has crossed the signal line. RSI, CCI is becoming very uh, bearish at this point. MACD has not crossed uh, any signal line. It's far away from the signal line. So it may take a few days, uh, but uh, 
pullbacks towards the 20 have been saw bought into and the 50 as well and even the bottom of the bullish band so uh, we got way up ahead of ourselves and usually it, it falls when we get uh, significantly outside of the bullish band so at this current stage pullbacks are basically buying opportunities both here and also down here at the 50 uh, moving average and uh, next target will most likely be 7000 we have basically created a double top here so it could fall all the way down towards the 50 or the uh, or the mil or the bottom of the bullish band down at 6600 uh, give or take so let's look at the china 50 so this continues to drop uh, like an absolute rock so we kind of have a double test of this uh, of this level here so we tested it here this is 16,800 um, give or take and we are testing right again so this is the bottom of the bullish band and this is also where we find the 200 moving average and this should be significant support Technical indicators otherwise are very bearish. We have uh, MACD in the negative territory crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum. Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So break below the 200 moving average, well, that could open the floodgate to much lower levels for um, the China 50. So you can see if we look at the Fibonacci retracement for the long here, we have crossed the first one. The 50 is down here at 16,100, give or take. And then we have the 61.8 down here at 15,000. That should probably be as far as this would drop before we have a major pullback. So the 200 moving average is crucial. If we rally from here, we'll most likely find uh, persistent at the top of the bullish band at 17,820 and the 50 moving average is also above here we will eventually if this continues have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the, the 200 moving average and we haven't had that since basically all the way back here since june last year so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much Thank you.